So it's another wild day in the crypto space. This time it's about USDC and I would like to talk about what's going on, what can we expect and how can we still be a little safe in this crypto market because everybody is in crypto because they don't like banks or they just want to make money. But is it actually safer than being in a bank? I don't know guys, let's take a look at that. So first of all, welcome to the FOMO Factory. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification and like the video, of course. Thanks for the 10K subs once again. Yeah, let's dive right into it. So basically, okay, so let me start here. USDC, 91 cents. It's kind of crazy. Everybody is fudding BUSD and everybody is fudding USDT for years already. And kind of expecting that if a uh, stable coin is going to crash, then it's one of these two. We woke up today and all of a sudden it was USD, see you later. It is absolutely weird. So what's up with that? Well, it's not that big of a problem if you ask me, at least not yet. But it doesn't mean that we cannot get any bigger problems, of course. As this guy tweeted right here, USDC has 11.4 billion split between seven banks. Two were Silver Gate Bank. So, well, and, and another one. But the thing is that it's not that much what they have right there. Right? It's not that much. It's 8.2%. So it's like if people feel like, okay, USDC is now coming to zero, I don't think it's that big of a deal. If 20% is in the Silver, Bay, uh, Silver Gate Bank and the haircut on Silver Gate Bank is 92% aggressive, then backing of USDC is cut by 182 million, which is easily absorbed by the CB balance sheet. So you can see right here which banks are actually involved. And he also says, TLDR, relax. And there are a lot of people that are really not sweating that much about it. Let's see how this is going to play out. But I don't think this is a big issue. And a lot of people, they get these Luna vibes, UST vibes, right? But there's a big difference right here. UST was a Ponzi. That was a straight scam. USDC, as far as we know at least, is not a scam. This is a whole different reason why there is a deep pack right now, right? So um, UST was, uh, was basically giving a way too high yield and uh, was also an algorithmic stable coin. It was a completely different kind of stable coin, but they were giving a way too high yield and it wasn't sustainable. People were profiting from that. They saw the volatility and they fucked it all up. And then everything came to light, right? With USDC, the problem is not necessarily with USDC itself, right? The problem is with the Silvergate Bank, right? That went bankrupt and a lot of funds of USDC were there as well. Um, DAI is also coming down. Why is DAI coming down? Because DAI is partly backed by USDC. Now, a lot of people are switching their USDC for DAI and I kind of get that because it's coming down just as hard, but this is only partly backed by USDC, right? So the chance that this is getting back up is you know, more likely than USDC getting back up. Overall, I'm not sweating that much about it, to be completely honest. Let's see how it plays out. Let's see um, if there's any breaking news. Let's discuss it in the FOMO Factory Telegram group. Link is down below, so uh, be there. But some people are really wrecked. Some people are really wrecked. This guy, uh, for example, with USDC insolvency fears rampant, users are fleeing to safety in other stables. Not all of them are going to make it there in one piece, however. Here is how one unlucky user paid $2 million to receive 5 cents of USDT. And uh, he did something wrong with the slippage from what I know. Um, so as you can see right here, he paid $2 million right here worth of die uh, to USDC and got five cents back in the USDT. I'm laughing, but it's actually not funny. Um, I hope he has a lot more money than that. 
uh, I would be high, high, highly depressed if that happens uh, to me. So that, 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 yeah, that kind of sucks. Now back to the crypto market because crypto is of course responding to that, right? So Bitcoin, what Bitcoin did uh, in first instance is well not that much not that much bitcoin went up and bitcoin went down again so what people initially did they were putting a lot of funds from usdc into bitcoin as they felt like wow even bitcoin is safer right now and i kind of get that because with bitcoin you know that the price can uh, you know go up as well that's what usdc you know, you expect it to be stable and now, unfortunately, expect it to go down. But how you expect it to go up, right? So people are already putting it into Bitcoin right now. It's kind of funny how these exchanges are now having all different rates, right? Bitfinex, 20k100. The index, 20k400, right? Binance, 20k. It's all uh, kind of different right now. So the price is very volatile. Uh, exchanges also feel like, what the frick is going on right here? So let's wait a little bit. I'm not buying anything. I'm not selling anything. I do have some money in USDC myself. Um, luckily, last week, I've put a lot of money in that into a pre-sale. Um, so that USDC was already gone for me. Now that I do have an amount that I feel like I have it in all different places. And I feel like, man, swapping it around, if it even works, I'm going to I'm gonna see what, how it turns out. I'm not really sweating that much. But overall, the crypto market is not doing that great. What's kind of funny though, is DXY took a big hit, right? The DXY went up, went down again, 104, right? So it's coming down, but crypto also coming down quite hard. Although this, you know, this fake out right here, the S&P also coming down quite hard. So that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. So we want to see how this is going to play out. If we take a look at the altcoin market though, um, if yeah, to be completely honest, guys, if I take a look at this altcoin market right here that we have, it's not looking so good for altcoins. We were doing better. I, I think I made a video about it uh, like yesterday or something like that. We were kind of in this trend, right? We had a high, we had a lower high, we had a lower high, but we finally broke out of that trend, right? Now, I don't have to say we fall, we fell right back into it. Right. So this whole trend right here, I don't know how accurate that is at the moment, to be completely honest. If I now look at the altcoin market, we are just still in this falling wedge right here. Right. And I have to put it on log, of course, otherwise my charts are not showing correctly. We are still in this falling wedge right here. And this, this, this falling wedge, you know, Usually falling wedges break up to the upside, break out to the upside, right? But it doesn't mean that we can't go down all the way here first. So what I do notice is that a lot of people, they were talking about altcoins because how we got so many great chan chances with altcoins, right? We had Gala at one and a half cent, we had whatever. We had these cheap altcoins and they all flew last couple of months and people were all like, fuck, I missed it. And uh, now we are getting these chances again and now nobody wants to buy it. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, that, that's how it works, right? Because now the FUD of USDC is going on and we have a lot of stuff going on right now. But there's always a reason. Like, if, if, if we do not get these cheap altcoins, it's because we do not have a reason as well, right? So don't let these reasons scare you. But what I see right now in the altcoin chart, it's very simple. We have this big support right here. I can basically, you know, also move it here and it's maybe even more accurate, right? And in that case, we already broke it. But let's say we have this support right here, 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 resistance here, and now again, support here. Let's see how this is going to play out. If this actually pushes through and we go down even more, then I can see altcoins going back to their, you know, cycle lows. Um, and that's an opportunity. That is an opportunity. You want to be prepared for this kind of stuff, right? So be a little careful, of course, especially in these times. We don't know what's going to happen. Overall, 
long term, fuck it. It's okay. It's okay. This stuff needs to happen. It's so unfortunate that we have to be there, right? But it needs to happen. But in the long term, it will be okay. Now, someone also asked a question like, what altcoin is safe right now? What, what, what should we do? Where should we store our money right now? And that's a hard question. Yeah, I definitely get that. Well, it depends on what you want and the risk you are willing to take. Um, because, very simple, in my opinion, you can go to USDC. Yeah, that's very risky right now. You can also go to USDT uh, or BUSD. And they are good for now. And maybe they will stay good. But do you want to be there when you figure out that it's not going to be okay? I don't know. Um, if you want to take that risk, look what the upside and the downside is, basically. If you have your money in a stable coin right now, right? What's the upside? The upside is that if the crypto market goes down a lot, you can buy it very quickly. You can buy it very quickly, maybe catch around the bottom and uh, make a decent gain out of that. The downside is that if you keep it in, uh, in stables right now and these stables crashes, then, then you lose your money anyway, right? So you want to make that ratio for yourself. Is that worth it to me? What you can also do, and I am actually uh, starting to think like I'm going to do that, is you can put your money on your bank account right then you know like yeah of course you pay you, the, the the bank is expensive and all that but not 10 percent usdc uh kind of expensive in one day right it, it's not like it come on we can say about banks whatever we want but it is safe compared to what's going on right here at the moment so you can put it also in your bank and then when the market dips you won't maybe catch the exact bottom, but if it's worth it for you, then, you know, it's a good play. It's a good play. You won't catch the exact bottom, but you won't have the risk of losing your money as well, right? And that's kind of worth it, uh, to be honest. You can also say like, okay, I'm going to keep like a certain amount of percentages um, spread it across all kind of different stable coins, right? Then you have a higher chance that someone falls, some, something falls, but, you know, if it happens, it won't hurt you that much. Think about it. Please do, that, do think about it. Um, don't be like, okay, this is not going to happen to me. This is going to happen to you. A lot of people were in USDC. And um, although USDC might be fine, a lot of people already took their 10% loss, right? And it could be worse. It could get worse. Maybe I am, you know, maybe maybe I, I, I feel like, okay, it's going to be okay. While well, it's actually not, you're going to lose everything. It's also, it's possible, right? So just prepare yourself for the worst case scenario you don't want to take that risk uh, in my opinion um if you feel if if you if you on the other hand look at the total three and i always say like okay altcoins it's not the time yet i want to see the bitcoin dominance go higher and i want to see the total three going down at least to around you know 270 or or 240 billion give or take I, I in my opinion that's the low right there are a lot of experts that say that it could get even lower than that i don't know these falling wedges usually break up to the upside uh this period is also where i think a lot in crypto will bottom and will really turn around um, I think we will see the lower side of the wedge though. Maybe fake out, you know, it could happen, but you know, close below it. I'm, I'm not sure of that. I'm not sure of that. If we will, you know, I don't know. If you feel like, yeah, it's indeed maybe coming back right here, but altcoins are already on a good discount. Yeah, you can also say like, yo, I'm gonna start dollar costing my money into altcoins and Bitcoin if that's safer to you right it's possible um i mean look i'm still i still think that bitcoin is going to hit like 300k uh, in the next bull run um this pattern is also still very much intact right this this is the range that we have been in this this parallel channel right here and we touched the bottom side off of it we are now quite some higher but you know the longer we go sideways the more we go get to the bottom side of the range again so 
yeah, I think we should start moving up a little bit again. So when it comes to that, um, I, I feel like Bitcoin is not that such a unsafe play now. The downside is though that let's say we do see, for example, BUSD break, DPEG, Binance go to shit, whatever. Then that stable is not only gone, but that will affect the crypto market very highly, right? So if you are then in Bitcoin, then still you lose a lot of money. Over the long term, you know, again, buying at 20K, it's, it's a great play in my opinion. But if you really want to get the most out of it, spread everything out a little bit right now um let's take a little look at altcoins at the moment to see how they are doing um because some altcoins are really taking a hit right now if you if you look at bitcoin bitcoin is pretty much going down the bitcoin dominance was going down quite hard but it's now recovering a little bit right if you look at the daily chart you see that the dominance has already went up from its low to where we are right now with one and a half percent. Doesn't sound like a lot, but Bitcoin was actually going down in that period. Right, so, sorry, I'm a little nauseous. I always have something. So if Bitcoin was going down and the Bitcoin dominance was going up, you can say that altcoins are mainly going down. And if you look at my, for example, medium risk right here, only red, only red, especially for example, uh, GNS, right? Why? Well, it's packed to USDC, right? And well, not packed, but it works with USDC and some other altcoins are as well. Frax, uh, I think. And there are a lot of coins that really suffer from uh, this. These are at the end of the day, opportunities and i'm not saying ape into gns right now please be a little careful uh, don't ever rush into anything when you do something with crypto but these are opportunities i remember on this channel we bought gns at three dollars sold it at 11 something like that and it's now back at five so i can still buy it right now and have a killer 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 trade right but i'm rather waiting to see how it's playing out because I didn't lose anything right now, right? So if it goes to 20, fuck it, I didn't lose. But if it goes to like four or two dollars, then I can even make way more out of it. So I'll rather wait a little bit with it. But most altcoins, they are not doing so great. Render, not doing so great. But this is what I told you. I mean, Render went from 40 cents all the way to 220. And now it's sitting back at 94 cents. It's very understandable. This is the point, like this is the perfect support point, right? It went up so hard and the crypto market was coming down already. Now one piece of bad news like this and it gives the altcoins an extra push to go down, of course, right? Um, let's take a look at the gaming portfolio. It's kind of divided. Um, and I, I mean, there's more red than green, but there are no really big red numbers for now. Nakamoto Games took quite a hit. Um, yeah, this, this, like, yeah, perfectly in the area, right? Perfectly in the area for Nakamoto Games. 17 cents. Um, so please don't ape into these higher prices. If you believe in a project long term, like Nakamoto, I believe in Nakamoto, I will dollar cost a little bit in Nakamoto right now, for example. And I'm not saying you should, but you know, given to the amount of exposure I have to Nakamoto and the way that I look at the charts right now, I think oh, Nakamoto seems like a good play and it could definitely go down to 15 cents as well. Then I ape in some more. Um, but that's looking not that bad. Gala, Gala should come down more in my experience, in, in, in my opinion. Um, it's holding up pretty okay for now. Um, but this doesn't have to happen in, in one or two days. I, I think Gala, you know, could stay here for a couple of weeks. Um, maybe then find the lower two cents. Illuvium, we could have a better deal on that. $52 is my first target. Well, not even. Yeah, 52, sorry. Um, Volker Forged, looking good. It's, it, it hasn't changed a lot, to be honest. A couple of percentages down, um, some even a couple of percentages up. Depends on how oversold it was. 
IMX, uh, to be honest, if you uh, like Immutable X, I, I, I can tell you that I like the project. Um, I don't have any exposure to the coin. Um, it ran too hard for me to buy it right now, even here at 82 cents. But, you know, 68 cents is for me a level where I will definitely start looking at it. Um, and there are a couple of coins. I'm, I'm patient. I'm patient. So please don't make any over rushed decisions right now. I would say wait, see how this plays out. I think um, it could be worse. Look, and go go to Twitter and look for USDC and just look at the news that's coming out. Uh, there is a lot uh, to see. There is a lot of news articles coming out uh, every, every minute, basically. Uh, the one is fighting it. The one, the other is saying it will be okay. Um, I'm sure Luna will be fine. I'm sure UST will be fine. I'm sure FTX will be fine. I'm sure USDC will be fine. You know, the, the, the difference is, uh, you know, Luna was a straight up Ponzi. UST is the same. Um, FTX turned out to be a huge scam and USDC, no signs of a scam whatsoever. Uh, so I don't think it's comparable. Maybe in hindsight it turns out to be, but I don't think so. Um, so le let me put it like this. For now, I don't think that's the case uh, because Silvergate is a bank with, which went bankrupt. It has nothing to do with a scam or anything like that. Um, but maybe, you know, it turns out to be more than that. I don't know. Um, but we'll see what's going to happen. Overall, you know, sorry for not being all... I'm a bit sick and I try to bring you this video anyway. Don't rush. That's the most important thing. Stay calm. Don't see every dip as a buying opportunity, though. Uh, like I showed you on the charts, for example, like with Nakamoto Games, I can, I can tell you that, like, it went to uh, 38 cents, right? And it here dipped to 28. If you saw that as a buying opportunity, you would have got wrecked now, right? Even here at 23, if you saw that as a buying opportunity, still wrecked. Here at 18, now it looks like, to me, like a buying opportunity, but it still could get lower, right? So... Patience, 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 right? Uh, you rather miss out on something than, than, than lose your money. That's basically it. I want to leave it here. Sorry for the boring ass video, I know. Um, but I think that this is all something we need to hear. Whatever, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Guys, like the video at least, and tomorrow I'll be back. Well, I'll respond to some juicy comments of yours. See ya.